And new from us at this hour, Mobile Police investigating a string of shootings in three different locations. One man is dead, five others suffering gunshot wounds. I want to go right now to our investigative reporter, Brendan Kirby, who's at Mobile Police headquarters. Brendan, you just got off the phone with the police chief, Paul Prime. Yeah, that's right, Lenise and Byron. I did just talk to Police Chief Prime. He says that uh, the investigators are still working to gather all the facts in these shootings, but he says that they don't appear to be related to one another. Now, one thing is for sure, it was a bloody day yesterday in the port city. Starting at about 4 p.m., there were four separate incidents over a little more than 13 hours stretching into this morning. It started at about 4 p.m. when an altercation at Matry Park led to gunshots. One woman and one 16-year-old girl suffering what police call non-life-threatening injuries. Police charged two sisters with the second-degree assault, Consuela Jones and Ali Jones. They perform rap music under the name The Famous Twins. Mobile Police Chief Paul Prine says that this involves two groups of women who met at the park with the intention of fighting. Less than three hours later, police say that two men bumped into each other at the M&M Food Mart in Theodore. One of the men pulled a gun and fired multiple times, hitting two bystanders. Police are looking for a suspect in this incident, Trentian King. He also has active warrants alleging robbery and shooting into an occupied vehicle. At 922, a gunman shot Brandon Davis to death at a house on Weiniger Avenue in the Maysville community. Chief Prine says that this was the result of a dispute with an unknown suspect. Finally, at 518 this morning, police responded to a shooting on Airport Boulevard. Investigators say that two people approached the victim inside his home. One of them shot the man in the leg. Chief Prine says that the violence yesterday is disappointing, but he added that Mobile's crime rate has been trending down so far this year. Yeah, well, I think it's important to know that we feel like it's a setback, but that's what... Uh, this business really is all about. You know, we get a lot of successes, we get a lot of wins, uh, but unfortunately we have these patterns and these crime spurts. We, we're not deviating from our plan. Our plan has been working and we're taking guns off the streets, we're identifying targets, especially recidivist offenders, and we have been making arrests. In addition to all of these shootings that resulted in injuries, there was another shooting in this period that did not result in any injuries. Chief Prine says that someone in a car drove by a home on Driftwood Drive and fired multiple rounds into the house. But as I said, no one was hurt. Reporting live in Mobile, Brendan Kirby, Fox 10 News. Okay, Brendan.